All right, what's going on guys? My name is Omega. Welcome back to another Apex Legends video. So today I want to bring you guys another best skins video. I know these videos do really well and you guys definitely seem to do enjoy them. So today we're going to be looking at the best exclusive skins for every single weapon. Now for those of you guys that don't know what an exclusive skin is, basically it's the skins in the store that require legend tokens. You also need some sort of other skin, which usually costs around 1800 Apex coins to actually be able to get the skin. So they are rare. A lot of them aren't really, you know, better looking than the original skin but it is you know a cool variation that some people definitely do like to have and uh yeah we're gonna be starting off today with the assault rifles now for the r301 in my opinion the best exclusive skin is the retro causality skin and you need the dynastic cycle skin to actually be able to get this as well as 6500 legend tokens dynastic cycle is one of my favorite uh, skins for the r301 and i think retro causality is actually pretty good it's like a good purple and blue variation so the colors do match up nicely i might like dynastic cycle a little bit better but you know it is a very good exclusive skin nonetheless all right now moving on to the havoc the havoc doesn't really have that many exclusive skins it actually doesn't have that many legendary skins to begin with so i don't think you know this is like an amazing skin at all but out of all the exclusive skins for the havoc the polarizer in my opinion seems to be the best one you actually also need sonic empire which is a skin i literally just unlocked before playing this video so that was kind of weird it's not really the best skin in the world and i think the havoc Havoc skins could be a little bit better but I do really like the colors on the polarizer and it makes the Sonic Empire skin just not look as great like this skin seems to be much better than the legendary skin which is kind of weird Moving on to the G7 Scout, this is a retro skin that's been out basically since day one. So in my opinion, the best exclusive skin for the G7 Scout is the Blue Dragon skin. You also need Crimson Fire Drake as well as 10,500 Legend Token. So this is actually one of the more expensive exclusive skins and it's definitely worth it because in my opinion, I just love the little dragon head at the top and I don't see many people using the Blue Dragon. I see a lot of Crimson Fire Drake skins, but not many Blue Dragon skins. If you guys ever see that in the store and you have extra legend tokens i would highly suggest picking it up because it is a pretty rare skin in itself now in my opinion for the hemlock the best exclusive skin is forgotten odyssey you also need lost queen which is a really weird kind of mossy looking skin i know a lot of people have this and they seem to like it just because it has really nice camouflage but in my opinion forgotten odyssey has much cleaner colors the grass or the moss on it is much more organized and it's it doesn't look like a rusty old piece of crap like the lost queen does so in my opinion forgotten odyssey is the the best exclusive skin for the hemlock but then finally moving on to the uh what's the other assault rifle the flatline yeah so in my opinion the best exclusive skin for the flatline is the party starter you also need the lowrider skin as well as 10,500 legend tokens i believe this is another older exclusive skin but i really do like the purple and blue colors on this skin it actually looks a lot better than the flames do on the lowrider skin all right guys now we're going to move on to the best exclusive skins for the smgs starting off with the alternator in my personal opinion, the best exclusive skin is Code Blue. This requires search and rescue as well as 10,500 legend tokens. I, like, I really do like this skin. I like the dog on it and I know it's similar in the search and rescue skin, but I think the colors on Code Blue really pop out a lot more. For some reason, a lot of like the older legendary gun skins don't really have a lot of bright colors, but as we get more of these like exclusive skins, we do have a lot of cool variations and I definitely have to say the variation in this skin is a lot better than the original one. But moving on from that, we we have the Prowler and in my personal opinion Final Judgment is one of like the best looking skins in the game. The one thing I don't really like about this skin is I'm not a huge fan of the Iron Sights which is weird because most people love this skin for the Iron Sights but personally it just it doesn't feel like a Prowler for some reason when I use it. I always mistake it for a different weapon. It's kind of weird but I, I can see why people like it. You kind of have more of a narrow line of sight when you're actually aiming down but personally I like the original Prowler uh, Iron Sights better than this one but it's still a dope looking skin i actually love both of these skins next up we have the r99 and in my personal opinion the best exclusive skin is the magnum opus i actually think i featured this in my best skins video just for every single gun but the magnum opus is a really cool looking skin you also need the alchemist which is another dope looking skin i'm not really too sure which one of these is better out of the two personally I kind of like the Alchemist better, but out of all of the uh, exclusive skins for the R99, Magnum Opus, just in my opinion, stood out to me the most. All right, guys, now we're going to get into the best exclusive skins for the Sniper. If you guys are still watching this video,
video. Thank you so much. Make sure you drop a like if you're enjoying it. But starting off with the Kraber. So the best exclusive skin for the Kraber is Wasteland Finery. You also need the Pioneer skin as well as 10,500 Legend Tokens. And the Kraber, it doesn't really have like a lot of great skins. There are other skins that change, you know, kind of how the Kraber looks. But in my personal opinion, Pioneer and Wasteland Finery are like the only two good looking Kraber skins. I really hope they make better ones in the future. But I understand since it is a care package weapon, you're not really going to be paying too much time making skins for these guns because most people, you know, might get a Kraber once every 10 or 15 games they're lucky moving on to the sentinel this exclusive skin actually just came out and i believe it's still in the store right now this is the clean shot sentinel skin obviously the sentinel is a very new weapon and i think this might be the only exclusive skin for that gun but you also need night core as well as 10,500 legend tokens it's a much cleaner looking skin than a lot of this other uh sentinel skins, so that's why i do like it now the longbow has some of the craziest looking skins in this game and in my opinion big game hunter as well as its exclusive skin hunter exotica are two of the best longbow skins in the game the longbow has a ton more other skins but personally i love the colors on hunter exotica the blue and the pink just match really well with the rest of the gun big game hunter does look cool but the colors are kind of dull and they don't really stand out as much so you know you guys can probably already tell i like skins that have like eye catching color i don't want it to just be like a bland boring color that blends in with everything around it you know i want it to be really out there and that's why i think the skin is just absolutely dope and then finally we have the triple take the triple take is another gun that doesn't really have crazy looking exclusive skins but the only good one that i could find was the body snatcher which also requires the invader skin as well as 6500 legend tokens and i like the design of this sentinel skin and just how the gun looks compared to the other skins it does look a lot cooler a lot more futuristic all right moving to the lmg starting with the spit fire we have the cerulean bandit and i'm not even sure if i pronounced that right but you also need the original marauder skin as well as 6500 legend tokens it's a pretty clean skin there's not really too much of a difference besides you know the weight on the top half of the gun the skull is yellow not really a whole lot but again i couldn't really find that many great looking exclusive spitfire skins it, it's kind of sad you know when you think about it there's not really you know for some of these guns any really cool looking skins compared to you know like the r99 the r301 i think the spitfire needs some love in terms of its exclusive skins because i really had a hard time picking anything that just like stood out to me next up we have the devotion again another gun that in my opinion it, it doesn't really have the best exclusive skins but in terms of all of them i had to pick heat trail which also requires nitro custom as well as 6500 legend tokens i really like the green on this weapon i think it pops out a lot more than the blue and the nitro custom skin and it flows together really well you know i think nitro custom is just kind of a bland looking skin but heat trail really takes that skin to the next level and now finally for the l star i think blue giant is one of its best exclusive skins i really do like the gold plating as well as the blue and the yellow on this gun it looks a lot better than apex hyperdrive which is the skin you need for it which is basically just a red and white weapon a lot more was done to this uh blue giant skin it makes it look really cool so that's why i'm featuring it for the l star all right guys we are cruising along this video now we're going to talk about the best exclusive skins for the shotguns starting with the eva 8 so in my personal opinion i think that master key is one of the best exclusive skins for the eva 8 you also need the bone collector as well as 10,500 legend tokens but i really do like this skin i love the metal keys on the top and bottom part of the barrel i think this gun looks really cool with this skin and it's definitely much better than the bone collector its original skin now i'm going to skip the mastiff for this part of the video because the mastiff really doesn't have any good exclusive skins but we're gonna go to the next best weapon in the game which is the mozambique now personally i think the divinity for the mozambique is the best exclusive skin it also requires the red alert skin as well as 10,500 legend tokens but this looks like a really cool weapon i love how it changes the actual model of the gun it kind of looks like a revolver that like mccree would use from overwatch which is why i really do like this skin i think it looks dope unfortunately the mozambique is an awful weapon so don't even bother buying this unless you want to waste your money if it comes in the store great but i wouldn't shed a tear if you can never get your hands on this skin because it's the mozambique and no one likes that gun all right now moving on to the peacekeeper i have to give it to northern lights for the best exclusive skin i think this was again another skin that i featured in my best skins just overall video and i really do like the green northern lights on the stock of this weapon it looks super cool superstar as well is another cool skin but in my opinion just the glowing green on this gun looks absolutely beautiful so that's why i have to give this spot to northern lights 
Alrighty guys, now we are finally in the pistol, starting off with the P2020. Tool of Anubis is the best exclusive skin for the P2020. This skin looks absolutely beautiful, and I love the design of it. I love the Anubis head on the gun. It just looks like a really dope looking skin, and unfortunately, you know, it requires an $18 skin, which is Death Scepter. It kind of sucks that, you know, pistol skins are the same price as other skins, because we all know there are so many better guns than these pistols, so it, it, most of the time you won't even be using them unless you have to. Moving on to the RE45, in my personal opinion, the Neutralizer is the best exclusive skin for this gun. Like I said before, I'm a sucker for colors that pop and, you know, bright colors look cool on these skins. I don't want a gun that has just like dull, dark looking colors that no one can see. So I really do like this skin. You also need the Regulator as well as 6,500 Legend tokens. So if you guys do see this, pick it up. I think it's worth it because I know most of you out there have like hundreds of thousands of Legend tokens. Like how? I only have like... 3,000 on my account right now. I've just spent so much of it, but I don't know why you guys save it. Just go out there, get some skins, and tell me what you get. Leave it down in the comments below. But finally, moving on to the Wingman. This is the last gun for this series. And the best exclusive skin for the Wingman is the Red Rocket skin. You also need Merciless Wing as well as 6,500 Legend tokens. But the reason why I like this Wingman skin is because I've used Merciless Wing before and the iron sights on this gun are absolutely amazing. I don't know why, but I feel so much more accurate using the iron sights for this gun. And obviously Red Rocket has the same sort of iron sight design. So I definitely have to give it this spot because it's a beautiful looking skin and it helps you not miss your shots, which is always a good thing. But anyways, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a longer one, but thank you guys for those of you who actually stuck through for the entire thing. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace out.